What is going on guys? Sneaky here. Welcome back to another tour video of Seal City. And we're going to be checking out this house right here. This is a Spanish style mansion. One of my one of my very few recent builds. I think it's one of my favorite though because there's a lot of detail on this house which which is really cool. And there's a lot of ideas for you guys as well to put into your own world. So as you see, um, it's very, very big. <laughs> it's massive. And even though this lot is not huge, you're going to see that this house has a lot to it. So flying around right now, you can see that there's palm trees all around. And there's just a lot of green <laughs> in this world. And I feel like vegetation and greenery really do kind of they really put a lot of detail into the house that's why I'm a, I'm a sucker for it you know <laughs> and you're gonna see that there's a lot of ideas you guys could implement from this into your own world so yeah let's let's jump right into the tour so we're gonna go ahead there's two ways to enter actually but we're gonna go check that down there second and we're actually gonna go through this gate to check out the house first so as you see we come into kind of a mossy driveway and I feel like this puts a lot of detail into it so it makes it look a little bit older Gives it a little more detail and a little bit, and you know, it makes it more dramatic, if that makes sense. I have a three car garage right here, and behind me is a nice fountain. There's a lot of, and I, I actually put, I actually wanted to tour this at night because there is a lot of, a lot of ground lighting that this house does have, which I think really makes it dramatic and just, you know, it, it makes it, it really does it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah. So, as you see, coming up to the house, there's a bird feeder, and I forgot to say that the driveway does feed into the to up to the other street because this this lot is on the corner. So yeah, let's enter the house. These doors are supposed to be closed. All right, pretend that those doors are closed. Let's enter the house. I forgot to mention that we do have some shrubbery and some cool little plants and stuff right outside on the porch, on the front porch. But yeah, moving forward, inside the house we have a double, we have a double staircase with some dabbing zombies, statue, statues, and we have a wither head up there as well, which is pretty cool. And we do have fire all around the walls as well. And a huge ceiling fan connecting down from that huge vaulted turret, which is really nice. So through this hall, we walk through, we'll enter the living room, and the furniture does match the interior, you know, very dark, very, very Spanish slash Mediterranean style, you know, very elegant. As well as uh, there's a lot of detail on the ceiling, such as the molding and the and the support beams, which I think is really cool. In the back here, we have a little mini bar with some kegs and some uh, some uh, shelves for alcohol. Then right here, we have some bar stools. Through this door is a bathroom, so you see the double 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 sinks with the mirrors, and then this door the toilet room so yeah um right here is the treadmill well, why treadmill but yeah kid uh you know you have all the room in the world to run and stuff this door is a is, uh, little coat closet and so is this door right here another little coat closet a little bit bigger though oops I trapped myself we also have an air hockey table in the living room, which is really sweet. And over here, we have a little fish tank 
which is really nice as well. Through this door, through this yeah doorway, <laughs> we have a dining room with some gold plates because that's how loaded these guys are with all the drug money. And right here is a little shelf as well. Some open windows on each side of that as well. Oh no, just just here. <laughs> Through this walkway is the gourmet kitchen, huge island with a our Seal City signature bookshelf dishwashers <laughs> and a little fridge as well, which is really cool. Some shelves on the bottom and as well as a mini fridge. Huge gourmet stove and oven with a microwave on top of there. Right here is a huge sink for all the dishes, for all the guest stuff. Through here is a little den, some ceiling fans, some vaulted ceilings, and a huge fireplace, which is really nice. Really, really subtle and a very homey feeling. Right here is an eating nook for some quick bites. And I have a fireplace in the back as well with some china cabinets. Awesome, right? We're going to have to go ahead and check out the patios in the backyard a little bit later, guys. What I want to do right now is check out the top floor, all the bedrooms this house has to offer. And we're actually going to go down and check out the rest of the house. Let's do it. So going up the stairs, we come into some uh, tall ceilings. We have some nice statues right here, some skeletons. And over here is the master bedroom. It's really cool. We got a little sugar cane bamboo divider. The master bath as well. Sink, sh shower, tub, toilet, and a nice window to look out the driveway as well. Really, really cool. If we walk out, we're going to go check out the rest of the master bedroom. Over here, we have a fireplace and a nice red couch for a fireplace. I kind of did get inspired. Um, by the uh, the movie Too Fast Too Furious, you know when they help that that guy I forgot his name but they help him. Uh, they they're trying to they're trying to arrest him you know because he runs an illegal import export business. So yeah, this kind of like a Colombian <laughs> Colombian drug kingpin drug lord's house, something like that. I think it's really nice, something kind of Miami ish. But anyways, we have a, a master bedroom. I hear the, the master bed with, with drapes all around, which is really nice. And fireplace and a TV there as well. Unfortunately, you can't see the TV from the bed. But pretend like these drapes open so you can. <laughs> you know? But yeah. If you walk out to the, the balcony, we have a nice grill fireplace and a zombie saying, Come on in. <laughs> kind of cool, right? But yeah, so... In here, or right there, some sitting areas with a hot tub, which is really cool. We have a TV above the hot tub, so you can sit and chill in the hot tub, watch some sports, which is really nice. We also have some uh, some deck chairs with the cooler right there. Oh, the sun is setting in the distance. Very, very nice view. What's this? I think this is, yeah, this is the walk-in closet. Very spacious, very, very nice, very cool. This store, I'll show you what it is a little bit later, but this store right here is the private study. Cool, right? So you have a nice fireplace, a nice little couch, nice statue. Through here is the door to the balcony, as we saw before. Through here is the door to connect into the other side of the balcony. On top of these stairs, there's a room full of bookshelves, knickknacks, little education tools, and a globe as well. Cool, right? That's the progress of Seal City so far. <laughs> yeah. So, moving forward, we go check out 
this side of the house, which it, it does connect to a wrap around balcony. See, look how far that is. We'll go check that, that out in a bit. We do have seating areas right here, which is really cool. This room is a, it's a bedroom with a corner bed. <laughs> cool, right? Um, and we do, oh yeah, TV's on top right there as well. We do have a walk-in bathroom for this guy. All your essentials. And closet. Cool, cool. This door connects to, oops, the balcony. Very, very cool. This door right here is another bedroom. Really cool, got shrubbery all around with a walk-in closet. <laughs> um, and then you got bookshelf right here with the TV mounted on the wall. Very cool. And you got a bathroom here as well, which is really nice. You have a big, big shower and tub. And you got a jacuzzi as well, which is really sick. You also got a toilet and a double sink because this bathroom actually connects to another bedroom. Just a bit small, but it still does the trick with closet, which is nice. And double doors that head out that head out to the main area. I actually want to show you guys the balcony that wraps around to the other part of the house. So as you see we have some seating areas with barbecue with a grill, grill and a nice fireplace right there. So we just keep going. Let me see. Yeah, this connects to the pink bed. <laughs> um, and so let's keep going. As you guys see here, we have a little courtyard down below. We'll get to that in just a minute, guys. Don't worry. But basically, through this door is another bedroom. Really cool, right? And it actually expand and it actually expands over across this bridge to a bathroom. Cool, right? That's so awesome. Down below the bathroom is the security room. So as you see, we have security cameras all lined up there. Mini fridge right here. In case there's an emergency or an intrusion or like whatever, you know, just push that button and it sends off an alarm throughout the house to escape. You have a water you have a water tap there as well. If you press this button, we'll head out to the main driveway of the court the courtyard. As you saw before, we have this little fence that leads out to the street. And if we go back in, I'll show you guys really quick. This side of the house. Oops, I gotta press the button. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, got it. Awesome. Ooh. <laughs> so yeah, right here is the utility room with a washing machine and a dryer. And right here is the sink with some shelves, and a laundry basket or garbage can, whatever. And up top is the bedroom we saw previously. Cool, right? Through this door is actually a rec room with a huge pool table. It's really I like making pool tables like these. They are a bit big, but they're still really, really detailed, and I really enjoy them. And now we have pool cues in the middle, pool cues hanging on the wall, and we have a little little patio as well. You come out and just kind of see, oh, there's a the courtyard. Cool, right? So, big fireplace there too. Awesome, awesome vaulted ceilings. I love that. Through this hallway, we're going to go check out the garage. So here's the three-car garage. Leads to the front. So as you see, no cars are here because I really stink at building cars. So if you guys want to come in the world and build some cars, be my guest. And then over here is some toolbox, tool, tool, toolboxes, tool benches, all that, all that good stuff. Through here is another garage, which I'll show you guys soon. Some cobbles hang, haul around. And yeah, that's that.
really right here is actually one of my favorite favorite parts of the house it's the boss's office so in the boss's office you have a lot of a lot of kind of creepy things going on here they're cool things and creepy as well but right here is a, a little bottle of whiskey and a little cup to drink and silver platter as well here is a bookshelf with a little knickknacks on there and also we have a globe in the boss's office as well which is cool here is the boss's desk there's some chairs sitting there get a lamp and the boss sits here and kind of types on his computer or whatever nice fireplace there as well and on the windows there's black drapes so you can't see inside <laughs> which is pretty cool um, through here looks like an ordinary painting it's not that go through the painting and you enter a safe a little safe room so cool right so look we have diamond gold more diamonds but wait what is this here because this guy you know it's he, he's you know he's a drug king and so it's none of that it's none other than <laughs> yep <laughs> guys um you know i don't know if this is uh, under youtube's guidelines but i think it's a pretty cool easter egg because guys this guy is a drug lord right here and <laughs> He's, you know, he has cocaine in his safe, <laughs> which <laughs> is pretty awesome. So yeah, let's head back out. Uh, <laughs> head back out of the room, and we're gonna go check out. What we're we gonna go check out? Oh yeah, the courtyard. That's right. <laughs> wow, guys, I'm sorry. I I woke up. Not too long ago, so I'm still a little out of it. So I apologize if I'm being slow. That's my B. It's my bad. So if we enter the double, the double, the double gates, we'll go through the courtyard. That's pretty massive too, you know. I have some shrubbery right there. Some more shrubbery right there. And we have a garage door right there we saw earlier. And a fountain in the middle. Here's the guest house with two more garages. And this path leads to car, you know, garage, double garage, double car garage, two car garage. It's very cramped though, so I don't think you can fit any cars in there. And let's see, over there is a fireplace. Really, really peaceful. And over here is stairs leading up to the guest house plant right there kitchen the stove oven a microwave sink all that right here's the bedroom this is a very small guest house but it does do the trick and it's very detailed as well and then below is actually a walk-in shower for the guests so I think that's really cool this tower right here we go in, there's a toilet for the guest house, so this is, this is a bathroom, and above, on the second floor, is another bed, for overnight stay. So yeah, let's head back down, I'll show you guys the rest of the house, backyard. So, if we come over here we enter through, if we go through these patch of bushes and vines, we'll enter the pool area. This is really, really cool, guys. Um, the pool area. We have a floaty thing in the middle. And through here is a little, little pond, which is really nice. And uh, right there, right here is actually a little weapons room. So... Uh, as you see, guys, we have a utility room with weapons and guns and all that stuff. You know, survival equipment, just in case these guys get invaded. But yep, there is guns in here to protect, protect, <laughs> protect the family because these guys are doing a lot of illegal things. So, let's go back through the vines, back to the pool area. We'll check out the little poolside huts right here. So these are like if you were beside like if you were in a beach or 
you know, like the beaches in like the Caribbean or Miami or something, you know, the little, little beach huts. You have some uh, sitting areas and a table. We have two of them here, which is pretty cool. And through this forest is a little Ender Dragon egg statue. So yep, <laughs> pretty cool, right? It's awesome. If we come back here. We can enter back here one of two ways. If we enter here. We'll just go <laughs> wrap around here, and I'll show you guys that. This patio actually connects to the living room inside, and this patio consists of a little water feature with some seating areas, which is really cool. As you see here, this house is built right next to a cliff, and instead of the you know just some bare old cliffs showing, I built a lot of vegetation and shrubbery all around to kind of blend in the cliff, so it gives a little bit of detail there. I feel like vegetation and greener and shrubbery really do make your house look 10 times prettier. So we come around this side of the backyard. We'll enter the other patio connecting the kitchen, the den and nook. See that there's some sitting areas if you want to sit outside and eat with a grill, which is really awesome. Right here is really, really cool. I'll show you guys what this is in a minute. But below, is a little bar area and a little concession stand and as you see it's very colorful so it does look very Spanish -y, you know so there's some bar stools right there and where this is what these are workers can hang their coats up or whatever but you can get some drinks hot dogs candy popcorn all your essentials and there's some sinks in the back, there's a mini bar as well. Not a mini bar, but you know, a little wine bottle shelf right there, which is really cool. And up top right here, going up the stairs, is a tennis court. <laughs> cool, right? So you have little benches right here. You can sit down and watch, you know, people play. We have a net going all around court as well so the balls don't bounce out and we have uh, stadium lights as well up there you know I could just play some tennis like mm, like mm, with a racket or something yeah this is really cool guys basically I originally made the hill curve and I said I mean that's kind of bland why don't I just kind of build it up a little bit so that's what I tried doing but yeah guys that's it for the house I do hope you guys did enjoy because it was a really fun build. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe because I do post a lot of my awesome Minecraft things almost daily. If you did enjoy the video and the house, please give this house a thumbs up. And guys, comment, tell me what you thought about the house. Give me your honest opinions if you got inspired from this. Hope you did. As always, guys, my name is Sneaky Seal. I'm signing off. Peace out.